Hello and welcome. In this video, we're looking at two inequalities. And if you look at the first inequality, it says 3 times x is less than 9. The second inequality is almost identical, with the exception of this negative coefficient right here. The coefficient is the number being multiplied by x, so it's negative 3. That's our coefficient. Whereas here we have a positive coefficient. Now that changes a lot of things. In the first inequality, we can divide both sides by 3, and we get x is less than 3. So x can be anything smaller than 3, and this inequality will be true. So if you imagine, here's our, here's our number line. Here's 3, 4, 2, and 1. So if we say x is less than 3, open circle at 3, we're not including 3, x can be anything smaller than 3, and this will be true. So for example, let's say we have 3 times x, where x is 2. Well, that equals 6, and that is less than 9. If we choose 1, 3 times 1 is 3, and that's also less than 9. So any x value we pick where x is less than 3, this inequality will be true. The second, in the second problem, everything is the same, except uh, it's essentially flipped around. Because when we divide by negative 3 on both sides, we get x is not less than negative 3, but greater than it. And so on the number line, what this is saying, we'll look at a number example, and then we'll explain. Let's say we have negative 3 here. So here's negative 2, here's negative 4, and here's negative 1. So first of all, you notice negative 1, 2, 3, and 4 is in a backwards order from 1, 2, 3, 4, because everything with negatives are reversed. So that's some of the intuition we can use when we're dividing by a negative about why we need to, in fact, reverse the inequality. So for example, here, x is bigger than negative 3. So we have negative 3 times negative 2. That's a value bigger than negative 3. We get positive 6. And that is less than 9. And if we did negative 3 times negative 1, that's positive 3. And that's also less than 9. So any x value we pick larger than negative 3 will be true. Um, and again, all that's really happening here, if we don't flip our inequality, we don't uh, acknowledge that everything is reversed with negative numbers. So when you divide or, or multiply both sides by a negative number, you have to reverse the direction of the inequality. And I feel like maybe I haven't really explained it too much here, but this is more of a worked example video. I'm sure there's plenty out there to explain it. If not, I can make some. Thank you.